street bus. I don't think you'd be able to see this here anywhere else. Good morning guys, welcome back to El Nido. We've come down to the Canopy Walk to do a fun activity first thing this morning. Yeah, we didn't know we could actually do this. Uh, we heard there was a hike. We also heard it was really difficult, but then we found out about this. So it's a safe way to do it. So we're with our guide now. What's your name? Nenoy. 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 Yeah. Got a guide, ready to go. Okay. Up to the top? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're going all the way up to the top there. So this is the starting point? Yes. <laughs> this is a little bit scary. It wobbles quite a lot, doesn't it? It does. It's like a proper rope bridge. Oh my gosh, don't look down. <laughs> it's quite scary if you look down. Yeah, There's a long way down to be fair. How far? 100 feet. 100 feet cheaper. <laughs> that escalated quickly. We were on the ground like <laughs> just a minute ago. Get me out here. <laughs> oh! When you walk across that big bridge. It gets high up really fast, doesn't it? Yeah. By the way, those rocks are limestone, it grows two centimeters a year. Wow! They grow? Yes. Yeah. Don't know if you hear that. You heard that? Well, the rocks over here are limestone, they grow two centimeters every year. So the points become higher. Yeah. That's wow! Oh, There's no one there. Wow! Okay, this is cool. You got a view of the town over there. Whoa! What a view! And we have. We've literally been walking for about 10 minutes. Yeah, how are we so high? <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I've never heard that sound come from a rock before. It's making like a bell noise, that's yeah. crazy. Just off this, is it limestone? Yeah. Yeah, off the limestone rock. I can see like down here, like how thin the spikes are. It's the ones you can see at the top. This view is absolutely insane. Totally worth it to come up and see this view. I don't think you'd be able to see this view anywhere else. Considering it was a last minute decision, we were literally walking past the shop and 10 minutes later, we've got this view in front of us. It's insane. Alright, I am sweating profusely after that little climb up. So I think we're gonna head back down. Yeah. Grab some tweet. Yeah. We haven't had breakfast yet, so let's get our helmets back on, head back down. We're saying goodbye to this view. And back down. I'm excited to go over the bridge again. It gets really bouncy. <laughs> and just like that, we made it down to the bottom. Highly recommend doing that. It's called the Canopy... Canopy Walk. Just the Canopy Walk. And it's on the main street as you walk into the beach down to uh, El Nido. El yeah, Nido really, tried, really, really recommend it. It was quite an easy walk as well. So I think if you weren't very confident, in like hiking, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a hike. No, I, I'm surprised how fast you get so high up. Yeah. Yeah. And there's things to hold on to the whole way, so you don't really have to worry. If you are afraid of heights, the bridge might be a little bit scary, but you can hold on and you're attached. It's not so too you're perfectly bad. safe. Hello. <laughs> Big thank you to our guide as well. Thank you. <laughs> he has a YouTube. He has a YouTube channel as well, so we will link it. Down below. SNA Vlogs. SNA Vlogs, yeah? SNA Vlogs. It'll be linked in the description. Go check it out. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a good day. It's the Canopy Walk. Check it out. All right, I think we need something to eat. Yeah, that was really fun. That was better than I expected it to be, I think. That was really good. I, yeah, I think 
I don't know what I was expecting because no. we literally stumbled across it as we were walking down and there's a group of people outside and we were like, oh, this looks, looks a bit fun to do. Yeah. Uh, we were on our way to get some breakfast, so let's continue that mission. It's more like lunch now. This is nice. This is lovely. It's a little yeah. bit of a view. We're at Pitter House at El Nido. And they've got a little upstairs overlooking. That's like one of the main streets of all the restaurants are on. Another little side street there. Nice little spot we found. Food is nice. The chips. They look like homemade chips. They look amazing. We've got a chicken wrap, some fresh lemonade, I think. Oh, oh that is so refreshing. That's golden almost. Yeah. Perfect, because it's so warm. We were just talking, saying uh, we think it's got the same sort of vibe as uh, Pai in Thailand, Northern Thailand. It's very much cute little bars and restaurants, and things, unique yeah. clothes shops. There's also loads of backpackers we've seen here as well. Yeah, you don't see any. It's quite nice not to see a, a Jolly Bee or a McDonald's. There's no like big huge buildings that are like intimidating almost. I really like it here. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm glad we chose this as our last spot. Yeah, I, and I can totally see why people say it's so nice. Yeah. And people like rave about it and stuff because yeah. it does feel really like a slice of paradise. Yeah. But so now we're heading to the next beach over, we're going to check it out. It's supposed to be nicer for swimming and stuff. Yeah. So, time to get in the water because it is Boiling. It is very warm today, but we're not complaining. Woohoo! Nice of the sun. We just made it onto Karong Karong Beach now, and just like the other beach, there is loads of boats in the water all across. It doesn't look like somewhere that's very swimmable because it looks really shallow. But we're going to walk along the beach all the way around, and it comes to another beach called Los Cabanas Beach. So we're going to check that one out and see if it's possible to swim. I found a rope swing. It looks fairly stable. Definitely gonna, gonna have to give it a swing. <laughs> oh, he's going off the tree this time. <laughs> That's quite fun. It's really quiet on the beach as well. There's hardly yeah. no one here. There is no one here. Just all the way down. And the backdrop, those are like rock formations there all the way around. And the sea's so calm, it's almost like a lake. There's no waves properly. So peaceful. Doesn't look as if we're gonna be able to swim on this beach because it's so shallow, so it looks as if you'll have to walk out for miles. So I think we're going to abandon that idea. Yeah, we thought a dip in the sea might be nice, but I don't think it's going to work. But you can definitely see why El Nido is so hyped up. It is absolutely beautiful here. It is. It is like paradise. Just the scenery looking around, it doesn't even look real. It's crazy. Hey guys, we've just picked up a kayak. We've got it for two hours. We pop back to the hotel just to cool off for a bit first, but we are out on Karong Karong Beach now in the bay. Uh, we've come out quite a bit because it, it is shallow for a while, but yeah, we're going to enjoy. The water is really refreshing. It's not that warm, but it's not that cold. Um, it, it seems to be a lot of coral underneath us, but we haven't got snorkels, so we can't check it out. But we're going to head down to the next beach and we're going to see if we can swim or we'll see what we can do. But definitely going to get begin in the water at some point. Was it all just a dream, just all in my I think we're actually doing all the hard work. It's very relaxing. <laughs> 
Look at the scenery though, it's just crazy. Right, we're gonna try to get to the beach all the way over there. So we'll pick it up when we get there. I don't know what beach this is. We'll have to have a look. I think it's Los... Los, Los Cabanas. Cabanas. Yeah, Los Cabanas. You ready? We were around there, pretty much, all the way over there. There seems to be like a beach bar or something up here. Yeah. But there definitely doesn't seem as many rocks in the water. So I think we're just going to get straight in here, are we? Yay! We can we finally go in the water yes! in It's really nice to be back in some salt water. The sea's a little bit chilly, but it's just really refreshing. <laughs> this is paradise. So nice. We wanted to come into the sea in the Philippines for the longest time. And we just couldn't because it was coral everywhere and it just wasn't swimmable. Now this, oh, it's heaven. Yeah, when we were in Mobile, it was, because um, it rained so much, it was, the sea wasn't as nice, but no. it's nice here now. This is heaven. There's no stones or anything by your feet, it's all just sand. There's a couple of bits of coral, but you can, if the water's so clear, you can literally see where it is so you can avoid it yeah i think we're just going to chill out here for a bit now and then we're going to head just around the other corner here and see what's around there it looks as if there's some cool landscapes with the big rock formations so we started all the way over there in the distance then we went to this beach here and now we've come to this side of the beach because this rock formation looks really cool so we're going to try and get some pictures here Definitely a cool Instagram spot with a rock formation there, but we've heard some thunder from across the way. So we're gonna try and get back before it starts raining. Huh? Or if it starts raining. We need to get some food as well. So Yeah, we'll have to look for somewhere nice for food today as well. And we're gonna be booking on to one of the boat trips tomorrow, so we need to sort that out tonight as well. Yeah, really, really excited for that, especially after just going on the kayak a little bit today. Yeah. It's gonna be really excited for tomorrow. Yeah, it's just a little baby starfish right next to a kayak. Talking to the kayak, we've got about half hour to get all the way back over there to see you when we're on that beach. Found the way again. Ashley managed to uh, sit on it. <laughs> okay, so we've just handed the kayak back in. We are just back on the beach. We are going to be going back to the hotel. We're going to shower up, get changed, and then we're going to head out for food. But first of all, we're going to have a play on this swing. It's so high. Oh, do you want to hand it in? Ready? Let's go for it. There you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, you don't need to cry. We had a little bit of an accident. Because he dropped the camera on her face. I am gonna have a fat knew, lip tomorrow. I knew I shouldn't have thrown it through it. Yeah. But she insisted. <laughs> I'm not very good at catching things, I should have known better. I did throw it gentle. And the weight of the actual top of the camera just came down and smacked her on the face like that. But Oh well. She's okay. I'm alright, I'm just gonna have a bit of a fat lip tomorrow, that's fine. We'll get you some, maybe some ice cream for dessert. Yeah. I'll cheer you up. Ice cream always makes me feel better. Although I don't feel that sad, it doesn't really hurt, it's just tingling. Ah, well, at least we both had an injury on this uh, <laughs> Southeast Asian trip now, anyway. Yours is a bit more extreme than mine, but yeah. hey. Hey guys, we're back at the hotel. We're gonna head up for some food now, but we're gonna end it here. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. If you are new around here, please hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again in the next one.